Mark? Just so. <sighs> so you want to help him? No, that would be political suicide. I want you to help him. Oh, cannot even imagine why. Because I feel sorry for him. And because I said I would. Well, what should we do? Make him a general? Mother, look. <laughs> My campaign people are getting a restraining order against him. He's going on all the security watch lists, but I won't lock him up. I'm not pressing charges. What? It's complicated. He... I don't know. It's just... Com I, I don't... <laughs> I don't want to talk about this right now. I want to get back to the campaign and focus on what's important to... You don't actually, Raymond, you don't believe his story. No. I don't, but he does. And he's a fine soldier and my friend. And if his slim hold on sanity requires that I tolerate his delusions until he can get help, I'll do it. It doesn't diminish me and I'm not afraid of him. Oh, this is, this is why voters love you. It, well, it's your humanity and yeah. everything. Well, I never projected humanity. <laughs> <laughs> yes, well, you know, I think telling people you want to round up all the towel heads and throw them in a deep <laughs> pit probably tips your hand a bit. <laughs> Thank you very much. <laughs> mm, carpet bag steak. <laughs> Stuffed with oysters. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the steak part is mostly for you. Don't it look yummy? In the world's literature of food, could there possibly be a more vulgar dish? <laughs> and eating it is an absolute sexual experience. <laughs> Try it. Mm. Promise me you'll help him. <sighs> Raymond. How much do you really know about your friend? I know him. I served under him. He was a good man. That is what the neighbors always say about serial killers.